Hello YouTube, fellow math students and math teachers. Devor here again, continuing my video series on geometric constructions. We are going to be doing perpendicular bisectors today. So let's make our line segment. And even though I'm doing this on GeoGebra, and GeoGebra has this lovely perpendicular bisector function that I can just use, I'm going to show you how to do it by hand, doing it digitally, because you now that's the way my videos are right now. In order for me to make a perpendicular bisector, please remember our definition. A perpendicular bisector is a line that will bisect this line segment, I'll cut it in half, and it'll cross and form a 90 degree angle with my original line segment. Very important thing for you to know how to do. Here's how we do this by hand. We're going to take a couple of circles, and I'm going to make one circle here, the other circle here. Let's zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Now the reason why I did that is because I need two circles with the same radius, otherwise this doesn't work. If you are using a standard compass that can lock in place, you can make your circle smaller. So you can have the radius of, say, this circle only go out, you know, a little more than halfway and it'll work out fine. However, with GeoGebra, in order for me to ensure that I'm going to have the same radius, it's a good idea for me to just make the radius the whole line segment. It doesn't hurt, certainly, to do it this way. Just the concern might be that you run out of size of your paper. Just be careful when you're, when you're doing this. You don't want to run out of paper. All right, so like with my equilateral triangle construction, I am going to create my intersections, just draw a little point right there and there. And then I am going to connect those two line, those two points to make a line. Now by construction, we have now made a perpendicular bisector. Um, I will go over in another video why this works, but those are the steps that you can, t that you will take in order for you to make a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. It's a basic construction, and we will be using perpendicular bisectors, constructing them to create shapes like squares and rectangles, knowing that we will have perfect 90 degree angles. So that was my video on perpendicular bisectors. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to come in during my office hours. Shoot me an email or shoot me a message on this channel, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you want to try GeoGebra, a link is in the description. If you would like to make these by hand, please feel free to come into my room. I do have compasses and straight edges so that you can try these yourself. Always remember, be awesome, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.